Hi, I'm Kun, and today we're going to review the entry of the United Kingdom at Eurovision 2023, May Muller, with the song I Wrote a Song. The United Kingdom went with an internal selection for the Eurovision entry again. Lots of Eurofans were under the impression that Rina Sawayama was going to Eurovision for the United Kingdom this year with her song Frankenstein. Like there were lots of rumors and theories about why Rina was going to be the UK representative at Eurovision this year. But this later turned out not to be true when Mae Muller was revealed to be the actual UK representative this year on the 9th of March. She wrote a song with which she is going to represent the United Kingdom at the Eurovision Song Contest this year called I Wrote a Song which was released together with a music video on that same day, the 9th of March. And that music video features a familiar face. One of the dancers of Chanel, the representative of Spain last year, is also seen in the music video of I Wrote a Song. Also, fun fact, Mae Muller is seen in the music video of Grace Kelly by Mika, one of the hosts of Eurovision last year. How fun, a Eurovision crossover. You know, when Rina Sawayama was rumored to be the UK representative this year, I already thought that it's probably not true, because Eurofans often set themselves up for disappointment with rumors like this, though I would love to see her on the Eurovision stage one day because I love her music and I've been listening to her music for a long time. Anyway, May luckily could have fun with those rumors as well. <laughs> I like I wrote a song. I listen to it actually quite a lot. It's catchy, it's radio friendly, and I feel like it represents the music scene of the United Kingdom better than their previous Eurovision entries have. Sam Ryder's success last year really did the UK good. I also really like the visuals of the music video and the concept of the music video, and I hope we'll get to see something similar on the Eurovision stage this year. The music video also features the spoken word part, which isn't heard on the official released version of I wrote a song, though May later also release the music video version of the song on streaming platforms, so I'm curious to see which version of the two she's going to perform on the actual Eurovision stage. Look, like I said, I think the UK's entry this year is a very catchy, radio-friendly and fun song, but until now, May's performances haven't been that great, vocally speaking, at least during the Eurovision pre-parties. I hope this will improve before the actual Eurovision Song Contest, because the song itself has a lot of potential to score well, but if I remember correctly, she was ill during the pre-parties, so I hope she'll feel better during the actual Eurovision Song Contest. I think if she sings well live during the actual Eurovision Song Contest, the United Kingdom could score a top 10 placement again this year, which I would love to see. Since I feel like Eurovision is going through sort of a rebirth, looking at the popularity and reputation of the Eurovision Song Contest in the United Kingdom, thanks to Sam Ryder and the fact that the United Kingdom is now hosting the Eurovision Song Contest together with Ukraine. So I hope May will have good live vocals during the Grand Final. They have the advantage of being the last country in the running order of the Grand Final, since Ukraine and the United Kingdom know their running order spots already, and performing as the last entry in the running order can definitely be a good thing, since you're usually one of the best remembered performances by the viewers before the voting starts. So if you pull off a nice and good performance performing last, you have a chance of more people voting for you. So to conclude, I like the entry of the United Kingdom this year. It's a catchy, radio-friendly and fun song, which I think represents the United Kingdom's music scene way better than their previous entries have. I feel like if May sounds good live during the actual Eurovision Song Contest, she can end up in the top 10 especially since the United Kingdom is the country closing the grand final. But then I do think her live vocals have to improve compared to the Eurovision pre-parties. And that's about all for now. What do you think of I wrote a song? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully until next time. Bye.